good news though. My, uh, my little sister came out of the closet recently, which is really, really cool. Usually gets applause, but that's fine. You missed it. It's okay. <laughs> Not that you had your chance. It's fine. Uh, but uh, she, she didn't come out as gay. She didn't come out as bi. And she didn't even come out as pan. And for those of you who don't know, you know, bi is, you know, guys, girls, either one is fine. But pan is like, I don't give a fuck. Pan is... Pan, you can be anything. Guy, girl, both, neither, Jewish. You can be like anything. <laughs> It's fine, they don't care. But uh, my little sister, she uh, she came out of the closet as pan-romantic demisexual. So I said to her, I said, Tessa, I, I love you and I want you to have a successful life and you can love whoever you want. I don't care. I just don't know what that is. <laughs> She said to me, uh, well, the fact that you don't know is a microaggression. I'm like, I'm on your team. I'm trying to help you. I don't know why. draw this way to But uh, she told me what it meant. Uh, she said, uh, you know, pan, I don't give a fuck. Uh, but she said that she can't develop any sexual attraction to anybody without having a strong friendship bond first. And I just feel like that's a really, really long name when you can just say not a hoe. You know? Like, <laughs> right now, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to deal with you because I'm parent mental demisexual. Like, you don't have to say <laughs> all of that. You can just, like, if you want to have sex with you, if you don't want to have sex, just say, no. It's that, it's super. <laughs> One syllable, no. Spanish, no. It's versatile. You can use it. <laughs> and I don't know why we do that. I don't know why as human beings, we, we feel the need to label ourselves and separate ourselves with these tight little categories. Because there's always going to be a reason to hate somebody, you know what I mean? Black, white, gay, straight, Republican, Democrat, my God, your God, cat people, dog people, Marvel, DC. There's always going to be a reason to hate somebody. I think it's weird that we even have labels for gay and straight. Because, I mean, the way I see it, we're all people. My philosophy, suck a dick, lick a titty, no one gives a shit. You guys came in at the perfect time. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, my philosophy, I'll say that again for you guys, suck a dick, lick a titty, no one gives a shit. And my mom's expression is, Jake, not during Thanksgiving, your hand is upset. So. Uh, before I go, I, um, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of religion, no, I'm not going to say that. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't like it when people think they know everything. You know what I mean? Like, because if you ask me, you know, the meaning of the universe, creation, existence, you know, what happened? I'd be like, I don't know. You know? But you ask a religious person, meaning of the universe, creation, existence, what happened? They'd be like, oh, you don't know? <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we gotta tell them. Okay, so. <laughs> At first, there was nothing. And then there was this guy. He was like, oh, something. <laughs> and it took him seven days. And I just, I just, seven days, you know, seven days. It makes it sound so last minute. <laughs> God was a college student and Earth was due at 11.59 on my point. Thank God I was smoking a joint for like a millennium. Oh, fuck, that's doing seven days. Shit. Uh, uh, dirt. Water. Shit. Uh, trees and shit. Uh, oh, dinosaurs. Yeah. Nah, no, fuck that. Fuck dinosaurs. And, uh, I think if God was a college student, though, uh, I think he'd be in a frat. Uh, for three reasons. Beard, toga, and he didn't ask Mary for consent. Whoa. You guys have my 